So, anime industry leader Hideaki Anno slated in a recent-ish interview that the anime industry only has about five years left. <laughs> a very, very steep statement to make. It is very unlikely that it is true, but let's hear him out for a second. He said with the rate of the current anime industry and budgets and blah 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 statistics that, well, anime only has about five years left until it fails, in Japan at least. He said other Asian-centric countries where animation is popular will probably pick up where they left off, and yada yada yada, uh, anime continues, so on and so forth. And I'm going to be very quick and very vague about my opinion, maybe not so vague, but definitely quick. I don't agree with this, first off. Let's, let's get this out of the way. If this is, I don't believe this is true or going to happen. Anime is kind of steamrolling as far as popularity goes right now, and it's getting super popular, so popular to the point where I found this Attack on Titan poster at, well, just a Kmart. Please ignore that Attack on Titan poster, by the way. I'm out of wall space everywhere else. I wanted to have just, like, a background with nothing behind me, but whatever. And my bag is just sitting there. It's just sitting there. Whatever. I'll clean that up in a sec. But anyways, I don't agree. I think the way anime and its popularity is going, it's not going to allow for such a fall to happen. This isn't like the gaming industry. And do you see the gaming industry falling anytime soon? Anyone out there? No, you don't. You don't. It, that, the reason why is because I feel like the reason why he's saying this is for two reasons. Anime, A, anime's budgets are getting a lot bigger, and that just goes to show considering how they need to try and keep one-upping themselves. Now, in my opinion, they don't have to do that. I mean, look at Madhouse. They came out with Parasite the Maxim, and in my opinion, Parasite the Maxim had really nice animation, but it didn't even beat out some of the other things that, you know, Madhouse was doing at the time, around the time, even a couple years before. I felt like Batum had better animation than Parasite on the whole, but that's that's besides the point. You know, you don't need a huge budget to have a good anime. Unlike games, though, games are getting so huge and requiring such massive budgets that I could actually see that collapse being possible. But even with gaming, I don't see that actually happening. So, I, first off, I don't agree with Anno on this. Second off, if it does come to fruition, if anime falls in the next five, within the next five years, and the Asian markets left to pick it up, you know, other miscellaneous Asian countries, maybe other teams like Rooster Teeth with, you know, Ruby. Even then, well, that would kind of bother me, but it kind of wouldn't. See, I love the style of animation first and foremost, and I've seen other countries get that style of animation down, at least to some degree. Just look at Rooster Teeth's Ruby. Yeah, that is a bad example, and, you know, Avatar is kind of a bad example, too, but they're still kind of close and similar in nature. Now, but also, look at a uh, small independent movie. It's a Yobi the Fox. I can't remember the full title or if that's the complete title, but it was Yobi something, Fox Spirit something, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you know what film I'm talking about. It was created by a Korean studio, and it looked pretty darn good. It looked pretty anime. On the off side, though, it didn't have an English dub, which usually would, wouldn't would bother me anyways, but you would probably be sitting there thinking, oh, what, you need an English dub? Why don't you just watch the Japanese? Well, that's the problem. I knew very, I was very well aware, even before knowing that it was Korean made when I watched it on Netflix, that it was not the Japanese. It was uh, some other Asian language. I didn't know it was Korean, but I could, it was painfully obvious to me that it wasn't Japanese. And for some reason, it bothered me. So it's like, so if that were to happen, I think the only feature, as long as the animation looked nice, it'd be fine. And if it got an English dub, I'd be even more fine with it. Because while I'm used to the English language, I speak English and I watch a lot of my anime in English. So that would be one way to fix that. Now, I don't agree with what Anno said, but if it does happen, uh, the only off-putting thing would be the fact that even though there may not be an English dub, I don't know if I'd be able to hand the Asian dub either, and I say Asian dub because we don't know, you know, where it would come from, whether there would be a Chinese-produced anime or a Korean-produced anime, and, you know, it would be just this kind of, it, it'd kind of be like, it'd be very, 
very love-hate with me, is all I'm saying, and I, I may have a, have a hard time getting over it. So, what do you think of this? I know this is kind of old news, but do you think anime only has about five years left? I don't, like I said, think that's actually the case, but maybe you think otherwise, and I'll see you on the next Quest for Anime.